Today, I'm gonna to show you how to make hair color pop in Photoshop. Hey guys, and welcome to Flurn. My name is Aaron Nace, and you can find me on flurn.com, where we make learning Photoshop and photography fun. And today's episode is gonna be super cool for you guys editing portraits out there. We're gonna show you how to make hair color pop in Photoshop. Now in today's episode, we're gonna be focusing on a redhead, but you can use these techniques to make any hair color pop in Photoshop. We're gonna start off by creating a color balance adjustment layer and enhancing the colors that already exist in the hair. Then we're gonna create a solid color adjustment layer and give the highlights a really beautiful new tone. And to finish it off, I'm gonna show you how to dodge and burn hair. It's gonna give the hair some new life and make it look nice and shiny. All right guys, let's go ahead and jump into our image today. And I love this image. We've got this beautiful red here in the hair contrasting with the green in the background. And I wanna bring a little bit more of the vibrancy to the hair. So the first thing we're gonna do, let's go ahead and zoom in here. We're gonna analyze, we've got a red head and I really, I, I mean, I would just wanna make these colors pop. I wanna make it like a really strong red, beautiful color here, but keep it relatively natural if we can. Okay, first thing we're gonna do, I'm gonna go to my adjustment layers and I'm gonna go down to where it says color balance. Okay, now with a color balance adjustment layer, I always recommend starting out with your midtones. You can adjust your shadows and highlights, but start off with your midtones. Now, in this case, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a little bit more red into the hair. So we're just gonna click on our red slider and drag that to the right a little bit. We're gonna take our yellow slider and drag this to the left. And then we're gonna pull our green slider up just a little bit as well. Now, this is obviously going to depend on how you wanna affect your hair. If you had like a, a brown haired person, for instance, you might wanna not bring the red up so far. Maybe you bring red and green up at like a little bit more even levels. That's gonna give you like a little bit more vibrant like brown hair color. But in this case, we are gonna bring our red up just a bit more. All right, cool, and that's looking really good. So let's go ahead and close this down. Now I'm gonna click on my layer mask. We're gonna hit Control or Command I to invert our layer mask. All right, and then I'm gonna paint with my brush tool on my layer mask with white here on our layer mask. There we go. And what this is gonna do is it's going to make this adjustment layer visible only where we have our hair. Now notice I'm not going like crazy with this step, okay? You can definitely, you know, overdo things when it comes to, especially like hair color, because you want to keep things like, we're, we are enhancing the hair color here, but I still want it to look like relatively natural. I don't want it to start to look fake. All right, let's zoom in and I'm gonna bring my opacity of my brush down to, there we go, about 30%. So I'm gonna hit three on my keyboard, on my brush tool, and I'm gonna go ahead and paint in some of the eyebrows as well. So give some of that color into the eyebrows. All right, and that looks really good. Let's go ahead and turn this layer off and on so we can kind of see what we're doing here. And we can see, you know what? Maybe I wanna bring a little bit more red in. So we're gonna try bringing up the red a little bit, and then we're gonna pull the yellows down a little bit too. All right, cool. Already that looks great. So we've done our base color. Now we're gonna add a solid color adjustment layer over top of everything, and that's gonna give the highlights a new beautiful color. So let's target those highlights. We're gonna grab an adjustment layer and I'm gonna to go to solid color. Okay, now to start off, I'm just gonna choose a green so you can kind of see what I'm doing here. So we're gonna choose a green solid color adjustment layer. I'm gonna change this color in just a minute. Now, the next thing I wanna do is copy my layer mask from the color balance, okay? We already have a layer mask. I don't need to create a new one. We're gonna hold Alt or Option and I'm gonna click on this layer mask and drag it up to that. As long as you've got those two little arrows, you're good to go. And it's gonna copy this layer mask to this other layer mask. Okay, cool. So now we can see we've got this green over top of our hair. Next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna change our layer from normal down to vivid light. And that's gonna give us a ton of beautiful color here in the hair. All right, now we got some settings to change. So we got two things we need to change here. One, we need to change our color. I started off with green to show you, you can start off with any color. It doesn't really matter there. The second thing is we wanna make sure this doesn't show up in the shadows. We only want this to show up in the highlights of the hair. So to do that, we're gonna be using blend if. So double clicking on our layer here, right over here in this blue area, just double click right there. 
Okay? And here we're going to see our layer style. And then down here at the bottom, you're going to see where it says blend if. Let's just bring this up a little bit so we can see. Okay, blend if. And we have where it says this layer and the underlying layer. Now, what we're going to do is I'm going to hold Alt or Option and click on this little icon here, and it's going to separate out my sliders. So make sure you hold Alt or Option. That's important. And we're going to click and dra drag this slider from the left over here to the right. And it's going to make this layer not visible in the shadows of my image, only visible in the highlights. All right, now we're going to take this one. There we go, and hit OK, something like that. So we can see we've got this green color that's now visible in the highlights of our image. OK, the green looks all right if this was uh, like a St. Paddy's Day thing. But we're going to change that hair, the color, to make it look a little bit more natural. So now what we have to do is double click right here on the green. This is a solid fill adjustment layer. OK, so whatever we change our color to, it's going to automatically update. So I'm going to change our hue. We're just going to drag this down till we have like a nice orange color. There we go. Looking pretty good. And we can bring it to orange or red. And then from here, I can change my color. So the darker I go, the less it's going to do what I want. We can go a little bit lighter here. And then you can change your saturation as well. The reason I like this technique is because I can see exactly what I'm doing live with my image. So the idea is to get like a nice, beautiful color here in the highlights of the hair but not something that looks too overly done. I don't want it to look fake. That's, that's really important, right? So again, here in the green, that's not looking good. But if we drag this down into the nice yellows, there we go. There we go, yellows and orange, that looks good. So with a brown, you might drag this down a little bit farther and go down here. That'll bring a new color into the highlights. All right, so let's turn this layer off and on and we can see how nice it really does affect the hair, especially in the highlights. Now I'm going to bring our layer opacity down just a little bit because it was just a little bit too much. And then here on our layer mask, if it paints anywhere, like if you can see it showing up anywhere, like over top of the face, something like that, just paint black on your layer mask and it's going to make sure that this layer is not going to show up in that area. All right, let's turn this off and on so we can see the shot, the highlight color. Just a little bit of pop on those highlights. Let's bring the opacity up just a little bit more. Cool. A nice amount of pop there. Looking good. All right. There we go. Now it's time to dodge and burn the hair. And we can do this really simply. We're going to create a new layer above everything else. And I'm going to change our layer blend mode from normal. We're going to go down to soft light. Now, here's the trick with our dodging and burning. We've got a soft light layer. All I'm going to do is paint black and white on my image. Okay, so we're going to use our brush. We're going to hit B for the brush tool. Now, it's important here that we bring our flow down to about 10%. Okay, and the reason is that's going to allow us to build up our effect. Let me just show you real quick what a flow of 10% looks like. So, to bring our flow to 10%, make sure you're on your brush tool. You can hit Shift 1 or just click down here and drag it down to 10%. Okay, now with a flow of 10%, what it's going to do is, if I continue to paint over an area over and over again, it's going to build up our effect. You can see I'm just painting black here. It starts off at 10%, and then it allows you to build it up as you paint over and over and over again. Okay? So whether you're painting in shadow area or you're painting in highlight area, it's going to allow you to build that effect up, which is very important. Okay, so now here on our soft light layer, we're going to do the same. So our flow is at 10%. We're going to paint on white over the areas we want to be a little bit brighter. Okay? And basically the idea is just paint with white and then stop. There we go. Stop when it reaches the amount of brightness that you want. Our goal here is to create a really nice, beautiful, there we go, bit of shine to the hair. And we're going to do this by painting white and black. Now, my suggestion here is also to try to stay with the amount of shine or stay with like the patterns of, that the hair naturally provides you, okay? For instance, if we have a highlight here on the top of the hair, that's an area you're going to want to paint white, okay? If you have an area that's already a shadow area, you're going to want to paint black there. All right, so that's painting white. We can see what that does. All right, there we go. Now we're going to hit X 
to switch our color between white and black and now we're going to paint black in some areas. This is going to really allow us to do a nice job dodging and burning. All right, now I'm doing this relatively quickly here, guys, so this is a tutorial. Keep in mind, if you were going to do this on your own image, maybe spend a little bit more time and, you know, try to do your best job painting in highlights and shadows. Again, the amount of work you put in is pretty much equal to what you're going to get out. All right, there we go. Paint some dark in there. And you can switch back and forth between your tools white and black just by hitting X on your keyboard. All right. There we go. Paint in some more dark colors there. Cool. Let's take a look at the before and the after with that dodge and burn. There we go. There's the before and the dodge and burn and the after. Just adds a lot more like color and life into the hair, which I think looks really good. All right, guys, and that's all there is to it. Let's go ahead and take a look at our before and our after. Here's our before and our after. All right, guys, we can see how easy it is to make hair color pop in Photoshop. Just follow these key steps. First, start off with a color balance adjustment layer, and you're gonna to wanna to mask it in to make it only visible where the hair is. Now, depending on the color of the hair, this is where you're gonna change those sliders. In this case, we had a redhead, so we brought the red slider up a little bit farther than we would on a brown-haired person to really give those reds a nice pop. Next, we created a color fill adjustment layer and brought the mask from the color balance layer over to the color fill layer. Now, we started off with green here. That's basically just to see what we were actually affecting on the image. Next, it's time to double-click right on that layer. We're going into our blending options here, and down where you see blend if, we're gonna hold Alt or Option and click and drag that left slider from the left to the right. That's gonna allow us to not affect the shadows in the image, so we're adding colors only into the highlights. And then adjust the color to give it the exact highlight color we wanted on the hair. And to finish the image off, we used a little bit of dodging and burning. Create a new layer and change your blend mode from normal down to soft light. Next, it's time to paint with your brush. Be sure you've got a 10% flow set to your brush. You wanna make sure you've got a soft edge brush as well. Paint white over the existing light areas and black over the existing dark areas. That's gonna allow you to enhance the highlights and shadows, really giving the hair a lot more life. All right, guys, that's all there is to making hair color pop in Photoshop. And I'd love to know what you think about today's episode. So leave me a comment right down below. I'd love to hear from you. And if you love Photoshop and photography as much as I do, go ahead and click on that screen right about now. We'll send you free episodes every single week. Guys, thanks so much. I'll learn you later. Bye, everyone. Popalopolis. Popalopadoodah. Nice and shiny. That's what my mom called conditioner when I was young. She called it nice and shiny. Time to put the nice and shiny in. Hi, my name is Hair. My name is Aaron Popalopolis.